Ziggler. Ziggler. Inspiring true performance. In times of change, the learner shall inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. For over 30 years, I've read an average of three hours a day. Read my Bible every day, read the paper every day. That way I know what both sides are up to. And I just happen to believe that is very, very important. When you start looking at all of these things, when you become a constant student, that's when you, your growth is more substantial and your motivation and your inspiration and your knowledge. And here's been one of my most interesting discoveries, and I've now written a book on it. It won't be out for quite a little while yet, but how to develop a creative imagination. The more you know about anything, the more creative you become when you add additional information to that. When I wrote Secrets of Closing the Sale, which is the first book and only book as a manual on how the processes that you follow in sales, only in a book in New York Times, first time in that category that ever reached the bestseller stage. Now, what happened was very important. When I read that book, when I had 98% of it written, somebody sent me a little three, short three-paragraph summation. And what this little three-paragraph said was, this is the heart of the sale. It was three short paragraphs. I read those three paragraphs, and I add, added 50 pages to the book. I'd been selling since I was eight, been sales training since I was 21. I knew a lot about sales. The new information revolutionized a whole lot of things. Keep on growing. It helps a whole lot of people. When you talk about relationships, Harvard Business Class in 1949, almost a little over 49% of all of the graduates, a study was done on them, and this class of 1949, 49% of them were at least vice presidents in major corporations. When asked how do they accounted for that, and CNN did a, a telecast on these men, uh, they said, well, number one, our wives were supportive. Their careers were built on integrity. They were risk takers, but they did not, uh, where they were not gamblers. What do we do at our company? How many of the things do we teach and what do I teach that are so important to me as I'm talking about it now? Our mission statement includes a big frying pan to be the difference maker in the personal, family, professional, and spiritual lives of enough people to make a positive difference in the world. That's a pretty audacious mission statement, ladies and gentlemen, but it's got to be built on character. Are we being successful in that? Well, over 40 languages of what I've been teaching have been uh, reprinted uh, printed and used. We've got several, several inform uh, information bits that really, really have made a difference in the lives of other people. In short, with 40 translations of our work in different languages, we're reaching an awful lot of people. Now, we teach things that are generally not taught in school, as I already have said, but I want to talk about another little factor. 90% of the visits to medical doctors are directly or indirectly related to stress. 90%. If we can reduce stress, and incidentally, the same process that reduces stress is exactly the same process that will enable you to have a long-term balanced career. My stress level, and I face as many deadlines as anybody you know. It's always a book production, a class I'm teaching, a seminar I'm presenting, and each one of them uh, requires time and concentration. Example, how many of you feel like I've made this talk before? Can I see your hand, please? Several hundred times I made it yesterday. You know what I did between yesterday and today? I spent over six hours getting ready for today. You see, I think it would be arrogant if I thought I could stand up and spit it out just because I did it yesterday or hundreds of times. That's arrogance. That's when Buster Douglas knocks out Mike Tyson. That's when an expansion team in Houston beats an established NFL team in Dallas. 
I dare not. Look at the people here, several thousand. I'm taking over an hour. Of time. That's several thousand hours of time. Where would my integrity be if I came here unprepared to make something, a presentation that could make a difference in your life? There is no way. You got to prepare for it, ladies and gentlemen. When stress does hit you, how many of you will admit that after 9-11, maybe you had a little stress? Can I see your hands, please? All right. Let me tell you something, folks. If you take the word stressed and spell it backwards, it's desserts. When you respond to life instead of react to it, React is negative. You get sick, go to the doctor. She gives you a prescription, says, see me tomorrow. You walk in the next day, she said, uh-oh, it's not working. Uh, we got to have to change their prescription. You get a little nervous. But as she smiled and said, hey, it's working. And so you have just, she's just responded. And you feel better because now you see some real hope in order to get ahead in life. But I don't care how optimistic you are. And incidentally, for what it's worth, I am an optimist. Uh, I'd take my last $2 and buy a money belt with it. I mean, that's the way I'm put together. I'd go after Moby Dick in a rowboat and take the tartar sauce with me. Your optimism is an important fact of life. Ziggler. Ziggler. Inspiring true performance.